<laughs> That's Ed from moreguitars.com, and I am Brett from the same place. We are talking about the Friedman Runt 50 combo, and that sounds pretty damn good already. I'm a yeah, huge man. fan of this amplifier. <clears throat> it's got cool. everything I like. You like, I, I can tell you like it, don't really like it at all. <laughs> so what this amp is, is a 112 combo with a G12M cream back, mm. uh, Celestian cream pickup back. in it. It's two channels. It's got a clean and what they call a lead channel, which is cool. It is a, it has two EL34s. Mm. Mm. EL34s. You like that? That's, that's, yeah. That's Four 12AX7s and, uh, and, and, uh, and it's got a boost channel or a boost on the, on the lead channel. So this thing, just to kind of run you through it, I'm sure you've, you know, you can always go to the Friedman site to get your specs if you're that kind of guy. But the uh, clean channel has a clean volume, a bass, a treble, and then it has a three-way bright switch. Kind of gets you some three different sounds and you can kind of dial that in, which is really cool because some guitars, you know, just can't get bright and some guitars can't get not bright. Mm. So you can pull some of that out. Yes. You're just going to make like Neanderthal mm -hmm. sounds the whole time. Monosyllabic grunts. <laughs> <laughs> and on the lead channel, you have a gain, a bass, middle, treble, and then you have the master volume. So kind of what, and then, okay, so then I'll, I'll throw this out. There's a presence knob. The presence is global across both channels. So mm. it's kind of thinking, I guess the thinking is, if, you, if you've got this guitar, you want it to kind of sound the same kind of texture on both tones. So don't put a presence on both on each channel. Just give it one. One. One is easier. One is better. The other thing is these, this thing goes to 11 on every knob. It goes to 11. And I had to say it, you know, okay. because we have to say it. <laughs> Power, standby. And then in the, um, so the one, the common misconception is, why does the clean have a volume, but the lead doesn't have a volume? Well, the idea is set your master to where you like your lead and then adjust your clean to match it or be under it, be louder, whatever you want. And then it feeds the master volume. So is that what you get out of it? Yeah. Yeah. So that's, you know, for those of you maybe stepping up into like a master volume amp, that's, that's how this one works. That's not how all of them work, but that's how this particular amp works. And it and on the and I don't know if I said it, but on the lead channel it has a boost, mm -hmm. and it is it is it is nice. It's subtle, but it is a boost. 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 <laughs> Jesus. All right, so let's hear this thing. So let's hear a little bit more of that clean. And I'm on the, you can see here, my fingers in the way, the third, I guess you would call it bright setting. And I'm going to toggle through that as you're playing. Okay. okay? All right. Let it rip. <laughs> side and see what happens okay so i'm i like to hear it as you're playing okay. so play and then i'm going to switch it okay. and you all will see my finger switch it okay do it <laughs> Thank you. 
Let's listen to maybe I'm gonna tone the gain back a little bit okay. and do, do something like that. So this is with the boost off, I believe. <laughs> So, <laughs> I'm, I'm, lick, I'm licked out. Let's not go any farther with that. So, the, on the back of this thing, it has a foot switch with a uh, jack, which uh, switches between the channels, uh, buffered effects loop, and they, it, it is extremely transparent. That is one thing they tout, and it is. We've tried it, it is. The cool thing, another cool thing, obviously, the tone is the most important and the coolest thing about this, but... It's got a direct out, and it's got, and this thing sounds absurdly good through just plugged in, you know, just boom, okay? And it's got, um, and it's got an access control on it, so you can change what kind of the, the angle of the microphone to the amp cabinet when the simulator. That's, that's pretty awesome. Pretty advanced. Yeah. So that's yeah. basically this amp. Um, you know, we didn't explore, maybe let's do a little, some really high gain. Okay. Okay? Okay. I'm going to tinker with the knobs. You, so the cool thing is we got this, this, this camera right here, and it is, you can see as in real time as we're doing it. Okay? So let's do this. So I'm going to go back over to... It's got a ridiculously chunky low end, but when you hit those higher strings, This amp, I was just, I, I, I really hesitate to mess with presence knobs. You know mm. what I mean? I usually kind of turn them off or down low yeah. and because they get brittle and wanky, you know, but this one, that was musical when I got, when I gave it, gave it some. I like that. Good job, Friedman. This is quite the amplifier you've got cool. here. <laughs> so that's it for the Friedman Runt 50 combo. This is Ed and I am Brett. And we would love for you to call, email, chat, send a message, private message through Facebook, whatever you want to do, and we will help you out. We love to help people with deciding what amps or guitars or pedals they want. And Ed's been doing this a long time. I've been doing it a long time. Rob's been doing it a long time. You can call any of us and talk to any of us. Um, just call us. We will help you, and we will hook you up, and we will get you the right amp and the right pedal and guitar you need. Thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch the video, and uh, let's rock it, amp. And Ed is clean.